Shalom and light ones. Hi, everyone. Good to see you guys. Good to be here with you guys again. We made it another Monday. Marriage Mondays, Marriage Enlightenment Talks. Um, if y'all was up here with us last week, my wife said she wanted to do a show on how we met. Um, so we gave, we gave it a free hour. So I need y'all to be in here asking all the questions. <laughs> my bad. I forgot to put this on. Um, do not disturb. Ah, right, yeah. What's up? What's up, family? So, yeah, so last week she wanted to do a show on how we met. Um, I think I think that was a good show. I think that would be a good show. So we're doing that tonight with Q&A. So y'all can ask any questions A to Z. You know that enlighten y'all and give y'all some insight on relationships, marriage, parenting, and all those things. You know, um, so as you guys know, we've been married for, we've been together for about 15 years. Been married for like 13, 13 mm -hmm. years, going on 14. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's a brief summary. So we're going to talk about how we met today. Uh, make sure you share, make sure you comment. We're going to need y'all feedback. You know what I mean? We, we gave it an open hour so you guys can ask anything that you want to ask along with getting some information so if you're not doing nothing make sure you share if you care you know and uh, get your pen and your pad ready we gonna rock and roll so babe um, how, how, how did you wanna how did you wanna start start this off well um, we is basically um I guess I'll go first because so, I was you're gonna give your, your first. You're going to give you a version of the story, mm. right? And then I'm going to give my version of the story of how we met. <laughs> oh, you. So y'all know he about to act the fool now, right? <laughs> because he said his version and my version, so. Right. Anywho. I'm over here tagging people. Okay. They... They blocked me from tagging y'all. I know y'all know why, because I tagged all y'all in that video, in that um that dance video. I just put out a dance tutorial. It's the basic dance. It's a basic dance routine, one that I use in, in the house. Why the kids are so good at flexing, you know, and dancing, period, and picking up routines is, you know, I have them do that uh, routine often. I did that so that um, anybody who wanted to learn some, uh, get some dance lessons and stuff like that, I can teach advanced stuff like i don't have to teach the basics you know if you guys pick up that routine all right pretty easy i'll break it all the way down in there but that's not what this is about it's about how we met all right so all right i'm done guys let them questions go anytime how y'all doing tonight talk talk back how y'all doing tonight all right so i guess i'll go first you go first yeah all right she's gonna she, she about to let y'all know so I was 21 years old. She was 21. She um, just she yeah. just got a fish you. Right. And she was looking for me. I wasn't looking for him. She's like, I'm gonna turn 21, let me look for stuff. Anyway, <laughs> I was 21 and um I had my son Malachi at this point already. Um I believe he was like five months to like Five months, four months? Six months, six months. Six months, six to seven months at this point. He wasn't seven months. Yeah. All right, seven months, you got it. Yeah. And, um... <laughs> what's up, what's up? Right, period. All right, so, yeah, he was like seven months, and um, it was a weekend, and every weekend, you know, um, he would be with his dad in the Bronx. And so I lived in Brooklyn, <laughs> Brooklyn, New York, and I was working in the Bronx at this point. Yeah, at this time. And um, so. What you was working, doing? All that? All right. <laughs> I was a choreographer. She's a choreographer. Um, then, when I was 21, I was a choreographer. I, um, I taught hip hop, um, hip hop, dance hall, and um, salsa and merengue. You heard? Um, at that time. What's up, what's up? So, <clears throat> I was 21, I had my son already, seven months, and a friend of mine that I was working um, with, 
lived in Brooklyn as well, and she had invited me. I might hear something new, y'all. She, she had invited me to go hang this with her. This is how she spring things on me and give me some extra. No, no spring I, things. Look, I get extra information when we have these. That's why we. That's why I love that we have um, Marriage Mondays because I get to hear things that I didn't hear or I might have forgot about, all right? Yeah. Or no, that you forgot about. Yeah, go ahead. Anyway, so um, right. So my friend had invited me. It was um, a couple of people around, and um, we were just playing music and it wasn't you know a party? chilling. Oh, it was had like a, a gathering. gathering. Yeah, it was a so, gathering. It so wasn't she worked like a party. with you, huh? Yeah. I didn't yeah. even know that. Look at that. Yeah, she worked with me. So um, apparently, um. His cousin was there at this particular party. So I've gathered with my coworker a couple of times. Right, but right. this was the first time, you know, meeting his cousin. His cousin was there. And um, so she was there and I was dancing and stuff. And so, you know, she, um, his cousin was like... I really don't know this side of the story. Here we go. I don't know this side. All right. You, I just remember you going with my side of the story. Well, go ahead, though. That's because he don't listen and he I don't do ask listen. me. It's all about him. It's the storm show. That's yo, why. Anyway, yo. <laughs> so he um, so I'm dancing or whatever, and um, her um, his cousin was like, oh, I have a cousin that dances, and I was like, oh, for real? And she goes, yeah, he dances, and um, I'm like, well, he's the best on the planet. And she didn't <laughs> say it like that. You know, you're, you're going in. And I was like, well, you know, I'm known for beating dudes, so Dang, I'll chomp y'all him. heard that? That's what I said. <laughs> she said, I'm known for beating dudes, so I'll chomp him. Yeah. She just said that on rip to my cousin. So she was like, all right, that's good. So she had called him over. Now y'all see so where the kids are from. So he was... A... Oh, go ahead. Really? Go ahead. Really? Go ahead. Anyway, so... um. He like he came so he came to the party so we can battle. That's what that was. You know what I mean? So um, you want to start saying your part, like you from you being. Oh, so that's, in, that's like let's go back. That's to how court. we met. So it's my turn. Yeah. So that's how he ended up at the party because right. you know um, it was a gathering. Right. So go ahead. You can say your part from there. Y'all got any questions for her with just that part? You know, she said she was twenty-one. Malachi, the oldest boy, was six. Six or seven months. Right. She was teaching. She um she was teaching dance in the Bronx. Um, she was a choreographer. Mm-hmm. And she always gathered with her coworkers on the weekends. And mm-hmm. and this this time, my cousin happened to be at the gathering. Right, because this is, she's never been there before. Like, is my cousin chill. related to to, or that's just her friend, a mutual friend or something? A m- mutual friend. But they yeah, call each other. They say it. No. Um, your cousin's friend is close friends with her. <laughs> that's how that works. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, boom. So that's how I got there. She called me over. Let me tell you what I was doing now. Tell you what I was doing. So this is what happened. So I was going to make a joke, y'all. I ain't going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I ain't going to do it. So, so you weren't scared to meet him, or did you even know you were going to meet him? No, I wasn't scared. Oh my yeah. No, I wasn't scared, and I'm gonna be straightforward, honest. Um, I was drinking and stuff. She was, was wasted. <laughs> nah, I was not like, even wasted. Nah, you weren't wasted. She wasn't He's wasted. Was he was like, fiending. <laughs> so of course, when you got some licks in you, your confidence is kind of high, right? But at you know the same token, I was dancing. I'm a dancer, and I'm from Brooklyn. And you know, um, if any of my junior high school friends nature. I'm still friends with in Facebook, they'll tell you that I battled. You know, that's what I did. I battled when I was in junior high school, and I was really, really good at it. And I used to really seriously beat boys. So it wasn't a lie, and I, I was really confident um, in my battling. Since I was a kid, so, you know, I was like, yeah, no, I'm going to chew him. So, <laughs> tell him to come over. So, I wasn't scared. I wasn't scared to meet him. I didn't know what he looked like. 
I want to say what was said about him before he came. Wait, wait, let me get So let, let me get him over say there his first. part, and I'm going to tell you what was said, because I think this is very, um, really vital and important All right. to the story. What so was let me, said about him, so I'm going to let him say his let part. Let me tell first. you what I was doing. So, I was running the streets. She was 21, 20, 19, 18. No, you was 19. I just turned 19, matter of fact. You just turned 19, right. All right, I just turned 19. Right, I was, and I was a young 21. boy. I was a young boy. She she does this all the time. No, he does this I'm all the 33. time. I'm 33. No. <laughs> Yo. He does this all the Yo. time because he's trying to say that I'm three years older than he is, and that's oh not true. Oh my gosh, it's so true. All right, listen. All right, it's not true. Can I say my part? Yeah. So, you know, I'm a young boy. I'm a, teen, I'm a teenager. She a grown lady, right? <laughs> Yo, let me tell my story. <laughs> I'm a teenager, right? She a, she a grown lady. Or whatever. And, you know, my cousin called me. I'm, I'm in the streets, you know what I mean? Wilding out, you know what I mean? Just wilding out. Y'all can ask you a question. I ain't going to volunteer no information that will incriminate me. <laughs> <laughs> but I was in the streets. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So my cousin called me. I was getting ready to do, do what I do in the streets. And my cousin called me. So it kind of like saved my life, guys. You know what I mean? It's a bad boy. So, um... She call, it's so crazy. She called me. I'm right next to a funeral home. Like I feel like it was like destined. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was really like I saw it. Um, in retrospect, though, I couldn't see it at that time. Of course. But I'm walking past the funeral home on One Troy. You know what I mean? Brooklyn, New York. And, and she rings the phone. Rings the phone. I'm like, yo, what up? I ain't speak to you in a long time. I ain't speak to my cousin in a long time. I'm like, yo, what's goody? And, and she like, yo, is this girl over here say she could beat any dude and dancing? Mind you, I already had a dance team. I was always um, already traveling to PA, VA, and, and I always had a camera on my back and stuff like that. And I would record dance teams and, you know, um, you know, record my dances and stuff like that and perform at different different places, any way I could pop up at, like bars, different places, and, and perform. That's how I got my name out there. That's how I got my name big. You know, um, it was before the, before the battle and stuff like that. Um, I was winning talent shows, going to school talent shows and stuff like that. All right, so that's what I was doing. And then, so, so I was looking for a girl. I, we always had um, guys on a group. Whatever group I had, it was always a bunch of guys. The girls were scared. And you know what? That's what she told me, too. Yeah. Like... He's looking for a dancer. So I wasn't, I wasn't trying to holler, and she wasn't trying to holler at me because she didn't know what I looked like. No. She, we, and I wasn't, her, and I wasn't trying to be in a relationship at this point because, you know, I had just broken up and everything. So I wasn't really, I wasn't trying to be with nobody. So we heard the words battle, and we was like, right, that's it. What up? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So she's like, yo, I pay for your cab and everything. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so she wanted to see something go down. Yeah, so, so um, I'm like, word. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, word, because everything was clicking in my head. I'm like, word, word. So I jump in the cab, ride down, um, ride down to the place. I come up in there. I'm looking for, I'm looking for who she talking about. I'm, I'm cheesing and all. I'm looking for who she talking about. I see her over there in the corner, sitting on the throne, like. <laughs> it was a it was a chair, but a it couch. looked like a throne. In, a in my mind, in, look in a, in my mind in retrospect, that's what it looks like. Anyway, um, so I see her sitting over there. I'm like, yo, I'm about to OD. I'm about to violate. I came in there. She looked at me. She was like, hey, that man look good. <laughs> yo, chill. Chill, chill, man. Chill, chill. Yo, she he was is like, going in. No, shut up. Look, My me, turn. Y'all, yes or no? Right? No. All right, I got there, right? Yep, you All got right, there. I got there. It's her turn Because you going now. in right now. My turn. So right <laughs> wait, wait. Before he... I got a question. So was it love at first sight or at first dance? <laughs> now, I'm going to answer that. I'm going to answer that. And All this right, is how I'm going to answer it. Because that's exactly what I'm going to go get into. So before he came... Because now he's on his way. So now that he's on, you know, he's on his way, they're talking about him. Everyone is talking about okay, him. Okay, okay. And they're like, oh, you know, he dances real well, but he's a womanizer, like mad stuff. He's a womanizer. He I'm got young dancer, mad teenager. kids. This is what they said. He had mad kids. <laughs> he had mad kids. I was a wild boy. He got mad girls. He be hitting on girls, you know, just like. Terrible things about him. I'm like, dang, like that's crazy. 
You know, so again, when him coming, I'm not thinking of sparks or looking for anyone. It was just straight battle. I'm just going to battle him, right? And then they're saying these things. But as soon as he came in, I would say to answer your question, Amaya, it was love at first sight. When I saw him. Yeah, 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 no. Nah. <laughs> because you're not even telling your, your side. All right. Because you, you. I'm next. Go ahead. I don't even want to say it because now you're getting on my nerves. <laughs> anyway. Um, it was My mama said I'm sight. handsome. Calm down. <laughs> Stay in the spirit. Uh, so, but everything that was said about him, it was like, I, like he said, retrospect. Today, I, um, I can say, because I didn't know who God was then. Yeah. You know, I didn't know we his know voice Lord. at all. So, I believe that God allowed me to see who he really was, you know, and it, and um, pretty much what was said about him, I heard that, that there were lies. That's what I heard. Like, I heard, I heard lies, and then I got to see who he was, and I fell in love with who I saw, you know, mm. um, and today I can say I saw, you know, I saw who he, like, his potential, his true self, not what he was, you know, she where was he was she at was the time. The vibes. Calm down. She, Not where he was at the moment, you know what I mean? But who God had called him to be. She's spiritual. So, you know, that's, and I did, and, I, and it was weird because it's like, how can you feel for somebody like this, like you just met, and you heard so many things about this person? So, to answer your question, yes, it was love at first sight when I first saw him. Boom. Calm down. Does it, my turn? Is it the same with you? So, I came in the door. Way in the 4 4, my fault. I saw all the ladies in there. Yeah, you know I mean, and I used to love the ladies. You know, I used to love the ladies, right? And then, so I wasn't even paying attention to her, to be honest. I wasn't paying attention, but it wasn't that I want pay attention, y'all. It wasn't that I wasn't paying attention to her. I wasn't paying attention to me, so I didn't notice how I really felt because, you know, I didn't know myself for real. You know what I mean? I didn't know myself because I was, you know, in the streets, you know? So it was just, it was just normal to me until I looked back. So, um, so then I see her, whatever. She gets up. It's time, it's time to battle. So in retrospect, I would say, yes, it was love at first sight. In retrospect, it was love at first sight. I know, I know that it was, you know. Um, but I think that women and men look differently. Feel me? I wasn't, I wasn't looking with my eyes. I was looking with my eyes, but then she, she was the same. But she did something different. She did something different, and she made me see with my heart. You know what I mean? She made you see with my heart. Feel me? But go ahead. You just clean it. Go ahead. All right, so now it was time to battle. And again, I'm going to remind you guys, I was intoxicated. So um, they threw on the throwback reggae. And you requested that? You don't remember? Not, not that I was, but that's what we listened to. Right. Like, that's... All because that's I don't know people from Brooklyn, you know. What I, mean? I remember one you thing. Listen to reggae. I yeah. remember one. I remember one thing. But go ahead though. You was going. Uh, not you take talking. Us, take us to, up into this moment. Take Calm us down. Today. That's what we doing. I'm not finished. That's what we was doing. Yeah, we yeah. We bring them up to. The, yeah, to the I want them to know how we got everything like that part. So anyway, <laughs> so um, because it wasn't traditional at all. <laughs> so I hit her over the head like. And I so, uh, <clears throat> so we battle. I say, I say I won. You say, <coughs> or you I said? Say, I've said that I won. She said. She don't say that now. No, I changed my mind. I she was looking at <laughs> <laughs> I won. That, Think about how you was dancing. Lie. What? Okay. You could never deal with me. Are you kidding? I me? remember every dance move you did. Yo. You don't remember every dance move I no, did. No, I remember what I did. Bruh, you know how I was moving back then? Yeah. I was we moving got... Mars. Nah. 
My movie no. was Ellie. No. No. I'm telling you, like, my whole body movement was like, no. boom, boom, boom. My, no. My body movement wasn't lit. Hey, really? You really want to show how you used to connect? That's Don't do not, that. That's not Don't it. Don't do that. I wasn't doing that, though. Here's the thing. He had nice movements, but at that time, I feel like he was an entertainer. That's right. And then the other type of entertainer, if was, you know what I, I mean. I was a young stripper boy. Exactly. <laughs> so you can't... Exactly. A stripper no. boy, I wasn't doing nothing with my hands. It was exactly. all body. So he's doing all of that, but I'm going him, though. I was going him. I took your heart. I was going wild. I was I was killing you. All right, you're making it hot now. I think I think you, you was probably going harder than I thought. Exactly. But exactly. you definitely... It had a... I, no, I only think nice. I'm taking is a tie. Son, but I won, like Mario. No. I got the girl, right? So what? But you ain't beat me. That's why she liked me, cause I could dance. She was like, "Oh, look I how you like move his body." I did like him, cause I calm down. Ew. All, right, all right, go ahead. I did like you because <laughs> <laughs> you can dance. That joint was lit. But you ain't beat me though. Oh my gosh. And now that's we, why he liked me, gotta, cause he know I was tag, coming at him. Tag like, my cousin and ask her who won. <laughs> yeah, we gotta tag, tag her, them. cause tag them right now. now. You ain't beat me. And tell her who you won. You ain't beat me. But anyway, she said smoke it right now. All right, I'm about to turn on the tools right, right now. now. What you saying? Right Stop now. playing with me. Oh my gosh, look at her. Please, we're I'm about to settle this right now. What y'all, what y'all want, what y'all want to have? Really, really? <laughs> <laughs> the next video, we gotta finish this first. <laughs> but y'all put it in the comments if y'all want us, want us the battle, handicap battle though. Only old school reggae. <laughs> Why? Cause I've been in the lab. I'm gonna dance like I danced back then, and you dance like how you danced back then. I'm not even going to talk to him right now. <laughs> anyway, I was nice, or whatever. And again, you have to remember, like, he has to remember, I was a choreographer, so I was nice. Like, I was on. Feel me? Anyway. Nice to her and nice to me is two different, it's two different things. I was a street battle dancer. You was a stripper. Because you wasn't even battling like that then, really. Let's be I, honest. You're right. I was performing. Thank you. Come I on. I was performing. You're right. Right. I've been, been, really been battling back in. I've been battling over a decade, so. Right. He started battling when right. he got with me. So. It's a fact. It's a fact. It's <laughs> yeah. a fact. Ah, anyway. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, yeah, because sometimes he be forgetting, but it's all right. I I'm do. I've been him. doing this for so long. Right, and I give him that, but sometimes... Ladies, you gotta remind them sometimes. Like, it's real. It's don't real. forget, like, where it was. You feel <laughs> me? Anyway, anyway, but I feel like that's one of the one of the things that you loved about me. I don't know. I don't know what happened. <clears throat> I'm trying to keep it PG. I don't look. If your kids on Facebook, <laughs> that's your fault. But yo, I couldn't forget when she turned around. And throw it up. I'm like, yo! I've never seen nothing like that in my life. <laughs> that part I couldn't forget. I know. Go ahead. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, ahead, anyway. Though. So for him, Amaya, he, he, it was love as first stand for him <laughs> when I stood up. Oh, my man, Savage here. Yeah. <laughs> He, but Savage, he know he was Savage was around. Time. He know I was beastie back then. So don't even go there. He, he even vouched for me. So that's how, so we battled or whatever. And then his cousin took him. Like, I, I was still there. We left together? No. Well, yeah, you and her left oh, together. Yeah. And okay. I think that's when I kissed you on your, on your neck. Hey, you... you yeah. Know. And I kissed him on his, on his neck. Uh, and I got a tattoo Where he got right my there. name right now. Boom. <laughs> right there. Boom. But it was weird. I felt like I was being controlled. <laughs> <laughs> Because I've never done anything like that before. If she didn't do that, she would have just been just like the other girls. Like, I, it was weird. Like, not... He was like, I'm like, you leaving? He was like, yeah, I'm going to leave. I was like, dang. So, I don't know. It was like, he gave me a hug. Like, I was sitting on the chair, and you, you yep. squat down, and you gave me a and hug. And when you kissed me, it was like, mad weird. I'm like, no. Yeah, and I, kept, and I was like, what the world? Like, why did I do that? You know what I mean? But she knew she had yeah, to lock it in. She like knew this, she had to lock it but in. But I was like, what the? Like, why did I do that? So she knew she had to lock it in. Calm down. Nah, my bad. My bad. My bad. It was the Lord <laughs> that had predestinated this moment in time, and He used her to do what He know His son. Come on now, what His son would notice. Come on, church. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, so that's what happened, so go ahead. 
What? Where we going? Where we at? How I kissed you on your neck, and that was you. Because. Oh, I, so we, when I leave, right? Yeah, when you leave. Y'all got any questions so far? Any questions so far? <laughs> 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 so that's how we met. Questions so far for me or her. So far. And y'all gotta play this back. If you just jumping on here, you gotta play it back. It, be, Look, Savage it's said big facts. Funny. I told you. So so I probably wanted to go dance um at Savage House. Probably I probably wanted was. to go dance at Savage House. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Went, left. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I could, I ain't gonna lie, guys. I could not stop thinking about her. You know what I'm saying? I was like, dang, man. And I was, I had some girls. I had like at least. I ain't gonna incriminate myself a lot, all right? Of official girls, and I, and I was like, yo, because you know, when I was young, I, I never really wanted to be in the game, but it was just like, it was. It was a game. It was how I was raised. You know what I mean? And I'm. I'm not, I'm not talking about my mom or anything, streets, whatever, whatever. But I had a lot of girls, in, and sh she made me think about that. I'm like, none of them dance like that. So that was that difference. That was that, that was the direction I was going. And I'm like, yeah, I, like, ain't nothing like that in the world, in my world anyway. So I was like, I think it's, it took, what, a week? How long, how long it been? It was like a week, and I... And I was like calling around trying to get her number. Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. I was calling everybody trying to get her number. Like, yo, you know shorty number that was at the party? Like, <laughs> shorty number. Yeah, you so know what I mean? called my friend. Yeah, I was like, yo, can y'all give me her number? It was late. Mm -hmm. It was like 2 o'clock in the morning late. So when they gave it to me, I, call, I called her right away. I didn't care what time it was. I called her right away. I'm like, yo, I'm trying to see you again. Like, So wait. I was so peeing. before he called, my friend called. So what happened you, and to she you said, between the time? Um, you? I mean, of course she was on my Guys, mind a lot, I'm, too. I'm so, I'm so, this is like. And it wasn't a week. It was like three days, I think. Two or three days. All right. It, wasn't it felt like forever. No, because we haven't seen each other in a week. That's what okay. that was. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's what it was. But it was like two or three days, and um, of course I was thinking about I'm you. I'm like a young boy right now. But um, my friend called, and she was like, yo, he's called. He called me, asking for your number. I just want to give your number out. But is it all right? I, I, I remember like, when she asked me, too. She was like, why? Why you want her number? <laughs> She's like, why you want her number? You like her? I'm like, yo, she all right. Like... <laughs> Yo, like, let me, let me get her number. She was trying to get all the sauce, but go ahead. So I was like, yeah, he can get my number. So after I hung up, I didn't expect him to call. <laughs> I did not expect him to call after me saying, yes, he can have my number. And he called within maybe like 20 or 30 minutes after hanging up with her. Right away. Yeah, he called. So, and it was like 2 o'clock in the morning. It was late. <laughs> so good. She was still living with her mama. Yeah, I was. I was living with my mama. Well, I was. I can't say I was living with my mama really, cause I was on the streets. You know what I mean? But anyway, at that call, mm -hmm. I said I was trying to see you again. Then what you said? Right. So she had another party. She had another party. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. She, she, had, she had a Valentine's Day. Yeah, a yeah. Valentine's Day party. And I got to see her again. And that's how we seen. Yeah, we seen each other again. So that was like the following week. So we got to see each other again, and um, at this time, you know, we were talking more intimate, getting to know each other. At you this remember party. any conversations? Um, not really, huh? No, not really. That's a long time ago. So it was late. It right? was mad late. It was mad late. We actually. So I got the. Um, we broke day. At her and house. And then the next day, he took me to his mother. <laughs> I brought her home to my mom. Ask my mom right now. I brought her home to my mom. I took her in the house to my mom. I spent her around like this. I like, Ma, look at my wife. This is my wife right here. And when he said that, I said, yeah, I'm ready to go home. She was tight. I was <laughs> She was nervous. vexed. Because imagine her, she just, she just meeting me, really. And she hear all these stories. Now it's really hitting her. Mm -hmm. She Like, she thought it was lies, but then it now it's really hitting her, her mind, like, Nah, hold up. This I don't know what this man doing. 
Like, you know I just mean? met you and you, you. And I spent around like your mama. He didn't say that to me. You know what I mean? But he said it to his mama. This is my wife right here. I claimed it. I need to go. I decreed and declared it. Feel me? Feel me, church? I was like, I'm keeping this. Look, Ma, I had to establish that with a witness of two or three. A thing is confirmed or established. Feel me? I ain't know that back then. I know it now. You know what I mean? So I, that was all the spirit. That was all the spirit, for real. <laughs> spoken into Spoke, existence. Spoken into existence. That's right. He did. And then <laughs> I, on the I, way I spoke home. those things that were not as though they were. Come on, church. <laughs> and I said, yeah, I'm ready to go home. So he's walking me home. And while he's walking me home, he's like, yeah, you're going to have my kids. So I said, yeah, I definitely Yo, need to go. Yo, that man was crazy. I definitely need to go because this She said, She said, crazy. at least it wasn't a lie. Raw said, at least it wasn't a lie. <laughs> Word. Girl, I was scared out of my life. Oh, man. God, I've never experienced that before. Nobody ever said nothing like that. Yeah. Like, and then introduce me to their mom. This is our second time meeting. And she this said, take happened. me home. I, I didn't it. care. I was like, yo, I mean this. So, even though I meant it, I still had mad girls that I had to get rid of. This is one of the reasons for this tattoo. I know a lot of a lot of them are on my Facebook. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to put nobody on blast, but, you know. So, I got this to get rid of some. And it, and it did get rid of some because they like, yo, you got a tattoo of a girl name on your neck. I didn't know about getting a ring or getting married and stuff like that. At that, that time. Back then. I'm a teenager, right? So, I got this on my neck. To show that I was serious, you know, because I wanted to keep her, but I didn't know how to, you know, express that, you know, I like my mom was married and stuff like that. But we that's why I'm doing that's why we do the marriage Mondays, because we want to enlighten people on marriage and how how to how to lock it in, um, you know, uh, just just steps that you take. I think some people need rings some people need paperwork some people need those things but there's also people that don't need that right you know what i'm saying but you have to know each other to know if you need it or if you don't need it right. you know i say lock it all the way down because you know if if we had not locked it all the way down i would have still been playing you know what i'm saying um and i ain't gonna say that i wasn't playing when even when we locked it down because i was young you know that i mean it's no excuse but you know when you when you live in a certain life you don't just transform like that and and you know i didn't know the lord as yet so then i started learning you know learning those ways so she had to put up with a lot of pain you know <laughs> what i'm saying and you know that's why that's why i give her so much love now because i'm i'm seeing the pain and i'm like it's, it just break me to pieces so it make me so tender you know so god does that all the things that we go through just in life. to let you know i didn't ask him to get to get my tattoo my name tattoo on his neck actually I didn't know he was getting that. Mm -hmm. He actually came back with his sister, because you went with your sister. Mm -hmm. And then he showed me. So I didn't know, and nor did I say that he, he, he better go get it or he should. You know, I didn't know he was doing <laughs> any of that. So I know it's real, right? God, you got word. But Amaya said tattoo, so she knows it's real. That's right. Amaya and, Amaya and Kaniko said it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It was real, man. It was real. It was hard. It was a tough. It, it was a tough. I want to say game, but it w it wasn't a game. It was serious, but it was a tough lifestyle for me and transitioning t to to being something that I've never seen before. You know what I mean? Becoming a, a whatever a real man looked like. I just wanted to do my best, you know, because I felt like I was gifted with this opportunity. So. Everything that I'm saying, I hope I hope that the men are taking notes and the women are taking notes. Everything that we're saying because, you know, um, a lot of these are like golden nuggets. A lot of these could throw up red flags. A lot of these could help you hone in on a, on on the one. You know what I mean? Make it easier for you because I don't believe that every time should should be this difficult. I, f I feel like this was a special case because God wanted to do a thing and to. Um, I want to say God really gave me the strength. Um, the mind is a very powerful thing, honestly, because, you know, um, that's right. She said, I felt that it's all about how you come back from your mistakes, bro. Right. I would say the mind is a, is a real powerful, is, is a very, is a very powerful tool. And I say that because in the beginning of our relationship, um, it was serious but I, my, my, my arms were open to the possibility of us being together and not being together. And I'm going to explain what I mean by that. Like, 
first of all, I had a son, you know, mm -hmm. and as I mentioned before, you know, telling the story of how we got together. And I didn't know she had a son. I thought she was just a single lady. Go ahead. I, I wasn't, I didn't want to be in a relationship, you mm -hmm. know, so when, you know, him and I started talking, I said, I'm going to start just dating and talking mm -hmm. because I didn't do that. You know, that's not a custom to, you know, to me or things that I know, you know what I mean? To me, you know, it's, oh, you like me, I like you, we're together. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We're official, not, I like you, you like me, so let's get to know each other, you know? So this was, and I was 21, I had my son, I had a job and stuff, and I'm like, all right, now I'm gonna do things differently. So mm -hmm. with him, I said, you know what? I'm gonna go along for the ride. <laughs> so that's why in the beginning I was able to endure the things, because I felt like he wasn't really officially mine, really, because we were getting to know each other. Mm. So with that being said, you know, um, it was allowed for him to be honest with me because I didn't take it personal. Yeah, I w you know, that's so one thing I always, like, I always was honest. Like, I always, that's that's important in a relationship, um, a person that's honest. I was always honest. I, I didn't feel like I had anything to hide. I was comfortable with my million girls, you know what I'm saying? And... You know, why, why lie? Because it, I didn't feel like it was a loss. But, you know, for some reason, I felt like this would have been a loss. So I had to I had to lock it in some way. Mm -hmm. And I, want, I would have locked it in in every way, but I just didn't know any other way. You know? So, so with that being said, in the, be, in the first year of us being together, it was definitely um, a roller coaster ride. We started dancing together. Because... Yeah, and he started going to my um, going to my classes, and um, that I was teaching in the Bronx, mm -hmm. and so my students, you know, fell in love with him. He was incorporating flex, you know, movements to you know the hip hop up. and and broke up to you know to to hip hop. Because I wasn't really like introduced that. to flex like that back then. Right at that time, yeah, it mm -hmm. was broke up at first. It was broke up. It was definitely broke up at first. Mm -hmm. So then, um, but I broke up. But I didn't teach, you know, my students that. Right, because, she, taught, she taught hip hop. Right, because I was really heavy in hip hop. Because before teaching, I was actually in a hip hop group. Right. So, um. But what counts is you did whatever you could to figure out how to lock it in. That's right. Which is beautiful. Thanks so much. Word. So, um. It was difficult. It was difficult because. It I'm was bugging. I, I could have been reading it for you. <laughs> <laughs> it was difficult because. Again, I'm not knowing that the things that are being said to me is God. Yeah, y'all can you ask your questions at any time uh, too. The Bible said that gift comes without repentance, and it also says that He would never leave you nor forsake you, even mm -hmm. if you didn't even get to really know Him That's personally. Right. But He knew you. He said before you were formed right. in your mother's womb, He, he knew, knew you. So God's been God definitely has been speaking to me. Because without him, I would not be able even to be here right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? I definitely wouldn't have been alive. So, like I said, that call <laughs> saved my life. So, So you know, the first year of being together, um, I like I heard God saying, you know, um, just hear him. Like, just hear him. Talk to him. Be honest. Mm -hmm. Be gentle with him. You know, I know you're feeling this yeah, way. Yeah, me. But, you know, speak that. Yeah, and I had to learn. It was mad things. hard for her in the beginning. It was know? because... He was never. He, I'm sorry. They. Oh my gosh. Um, oh my god. He had ways about him, and it was ways about him that he couldn't articulate to me that I had to figure out. Like, mm. he was a grumpy old man if he was hungry, but he would never say that he was hungry. Mm. You know what I mean? Then, if you was to ask him if he was hungry, he would say no. And then, you know, what would you like to eat? What do you like? He won't tell you. Like, it, it was very difficult. You yeah. know. Even when we went was, out for the first time. I was time. really guard I was really guarding my heart for real. Yeah. Cause I didn't even like I didn't know the feelings that I was feeling. I never felt those feelings. So I was like, nah, I don't want, I don't want you to do nothing for me. And sometimes a little bit, I'm still like that. A little bit. Like, mm -hmm. I'm like, you know what I mean? Cause it feels like it's just getting deeper and deeper. And I feel like I don't know myself. You know, but you're supposed to transform and change. It's like a um, a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. It's in me? your hand, babe. I'm bugging. I, I like looking at it on the screen. My bad. So, um... So y'all liked each other a lot. When did y'all realize it was love? So I was visiting him now? every weekend. <laughs> huh? What, real love? Yeah, we, we, we realized it was real love 
And these days, right? When did you realize? I realized it in these days, like in the past, maybe, I don't know. I can't, I can't say. <laughs> when we came to the Lord and we knew, and we found out the, the, the Lord's love, then we kind of, we kind of knew, nah, I can't say that. I, I'm going to be safe and say the past three years. That's what I'm going to be safe and say. That's when I realized. Um, but yeah, we, we did like each other a lot. Go ahead. No, I, I knew I loved him. Yeah, she, from, she knew. I didn't know. Yeah. Um, because there's just certain things that like, and it's so funny because confirmation is the word of God. That's mm -hmm. how, you know, and I remember even before, um, reading the word, I will, I would say, I would say things to people cause they would ask me that actually knew what I, what I went through. Like, why did you stay or, you know what I mean? And I, and I would say things like, um, you know, when you choose, when you choose, um, I chose to love him. I chose to accept what came with, with him. You know, um, no, I didn't expect to change him because I don't feel like a person can change a person. Mm. But, you know, um, I believe today, I believe that God can, especially when you give them to God. But, you know, I felt like, you know, I had, I had to endure. You believe you in know. that um, if you love something, let it go. If it comes back, that's how you know. Yeah, I, 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 believe, I believe that too. I believe in that. Because we actually did that. We was like, yo, we out. Yeah. I'm out, you know what I mean, mm. and and that's when it's like, yo, ain't nothing, ain't nothing like this, you know. Yeah. So I want to get, cause I want to get to where you know we got uh, married. Let's do how I met um, Malachi. Oh, okay, all right, yeah, that's cool. So at this point, I already I know I know she had a son. Did you meet my son first? Yeah, I met Junior first. All right, so she, yeah, she met Junior first because. I, I, think I, I met you I at have Savage House weekends. since he was up here. Yeah. I met, yeah, you had him on weekends. This particular on. weekend you had him. Yeah. And um, I met you at Savage House and he was there. So both of our sons was the was the same age, basically. At around the same age. At that time they were, yeah. They were around the same age uh, when when we met. But yeah. go ahead. And this is when you cut your hair. I thought I asked about... When I met him, he had hair. He oh, had yeah. Braids. Let me tell y'all something. It Here was like go. total initiation, man. I had to do so much. I had to do so much because of how he low had to I do was. So much. Lord have mercy. Because of how low I was. She was on a higher frequency than me. Me, I was I was so like dirty. You know what I mean? Like, um, I was just living crazy. But she said, I don't she said, I don't even like guys with long hair. I remember what she said exactly. Next time she saw me, I ain't had no hair. Yeah, like, yeah, and my hair was long too. Yeah. You know, young young teenage boy, everybody was growing their hair, all that. My hair was mad long, and I and and I cut that joint because I want to know all that. You know what I mean? So, I, you know, this is how you know the, the the guy is the one when he's willing to make sacrifices. You know what I'm saying? Make sacrifices like. So his hair was cut. And the reason why I didn't at the time, because my first boyfriend that I had, he had hair and he was just very into his hair. And I didn't want to mm. deal with that. You know what I mean? So I was like, uh uh, I can't do the hair thing. Like, I can't do it. So, so he met cut. Malachi, what I say? No, I met Junior. All right, you met, met Junior? Junior. And stuff like that. So I think because of that, you was like, um, why don't you bring Malachi next How time? How did I know about him? I. I've been told you knew. Okay. Like and he's. I said, I said, why don't you bring your son? Yeah, why don't you bring your son? Because we've been meeting and he knew, you knew he was at his father's house. Every time I, I met up with you, he was at his dad's house. <laughs> so um, he he finally, he was like, oh, why don't you bring Malachi next time? And I was surprised because I was like, you know, what guy wants, you know, I would think he just want to spend time with me and mm -hmm. not get to know my son. So that kind of, that was not kind of, but that was very attractive to me, you know, and he gained points for that because, you know, my son was my world at that point. So So we don't get into how we got married? Yeah, that's all that's all, all I'm right, saying year. But so that's how he he met uh Malachi and he fell in love with Malachi. How, right. how, how did you feel like with Malachi at the time? I Nobody was, could touch I was so him. Happy. Like he was so protective. Let me tell you Malachi. something, when I met her son, I was so happy because, you know, I had I had issues. You know, with with you know my son's mom, and I like 
I had to see him on weekends, basically, you know? Um, and and um, so when I when the person I, that I love, you know what I'm saying, I knew she had a son. I feel like I always just wanted a family because I was raised just by my mom alone, right? And, you know, I grew up without a dad and stuff like that. And I never wanted somebody to feel that pain of being with, without a dad. So I'll, so I'll always be like, you know, that mentor, that voice. And, you know, I think, I think young kids were, were, were the only ones that, make, that made me stand up and want to be better. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so when, so when I met him, I'm like, I'm like, yo, this, like, I really, got, I really got a family, you know? So, um, then I started living different. I started living different. That helped me out a lot. It helped me out a lot. I was like, I got rid of a lot of other girls. <laughs> that's how many it was. I got rid of a lot of other girls. I was like, and then when I got nah. pregnant with Janai, that's, that even sealed the deal with that too, yep. because... My job was still working too, so this is now a year. Um, we're we're a year together. Now I end up pregnant mm -hmm. after being together for a year. Mm -hmm. And um, let me answer Shane a question. Okay. She said, "I feel like as females, we accept more than what a man would put up with." So, question: If the roles were reversed, Storm, do you think you would have put up with all of what Iris, <laughs> what Iris dealt with? And still see her as your wife? Never. You feel me? Never. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I don't know because I'm like that now. I have that heart. No, I'm tender then, now. Then. All right, let me see. Then I was horrible. No, I'm, I'm going to give him a story. I'm going to tell you how he was. Okay, this is what I have Wait, to deal on. with. No, let me see. excuse me. Let me look at it for myself. Excuse me. <laughs> So, this is before I was pregnant. This is within the year of being together, right? And this is on the weekend because Malachi again was with his dad. We, we got like so, um, 10 minutes. All right, I have to say this story because I want them to know how you was. Y'all can ask any question, though. So, my homeboy, um, I'm like I'm like a... I'm like a dude. I know he said this before. It's my bro. Yeah, like I'm like a dude. I'm, I'm, I'm a different type of uh, tomboy, uh, girl like yeah I'm a tomboy, a tomboy or whatever so I have you know I'm really close friends with dudes and I have friends that been with me since junior high school and stuff oh, like that oh yeah I hated so, that so um he has a at this point cause his is his, different now but at this point you know he had a a, a way he viewed women period yeah. you know and um and it was sorry, crazy. Sorry, y'all. That's why I show y'all so much love right now. I'm sorry. So um, my homeboy, you know, he knew what I was going through. Mm -hmm. Like, cause I told him at this point, like I used to tell him everything. Mm -hmm. So he knew what I was going through. So he checked up on me, um, cause on his way to work, cause he worked at you know over there, boys and girls. So on his way to work, he knew I was staying there. So he was like, "Oh, what's good? You good? Everything's good. You need something to eat? Whatever, whatever." <laughs> I was like, "Nah, I'm good." This dude is talking to his neighbor. Mind you, he knows my friend. I told him about him. You know what I mean? So he knows him. Mm -hmm. They met and everything. He let this guy whisper in his ear all this nonsense, nah. right? <laughs> Go ahead, though. Go all this nonsense. He goes upstairs. So I don't know why he goes upstairs. I'm sitting on the steps waiting for him. This dude pours water out of a bucket on my head. And I just had gotten my hair done, too. All my no, all my head. Really? And it man? wasn't just water. This dude, I want to say the N word so bad, but I'm I'm trying to learn you not did a to good say job. right. You I'm did. doing because I would have called them the N word like five times by now. <laughs> so this dude, <laughs> he put he puts seasonings and soy sauce in the water. I I had to make her feel like how I felt. But I didn't do anything to you. Uh, she she ain't know. <laughs> and poured it on exactly pad tea poured it on me so this was the type of you know what I'm saying like this is what I was dealing with okay let's talk about the barrel so, now <laughs> just had to let that you know be so known. yeah I would have I would have never so no he wouldn't have endured yeah, any of an that answer. so we've been together <laughs> for a year and now at this point I'm you know pregnant with Janai um, I had stopped working because Janai was extremely heavy so I was like, no, um, I'm nine months 
and um, Smooth was, was with us because mm-hmm. Smooth was Storm's um, student at this point. And Janai is how, how old? Like 13? Yeah. So, so I knew Smooth Rambo, a.k.a. Rambo. 13 years so far. 13 years. We had a, we had a group um, back then. Right, before VT. Yeah. Right. So, um, <laughs> so Smooth was with us. And I was like, yo, take me home. I want to get my bags. I want to go to the hospital because they need to induce a slave because I can't. I can't, like, hold him. Like, he's heavy. Yeah. And he was like. Y'all know Janai got big head. <laughs> big shoulders. <laughs> so I was like, you know. Me too. Don't, don't, don't start up here. Right? Yeah. So um, we get halfway to my house. And, like, every block I had to stop walking, right? You remember mm-hmm. I had to stop walking because it was really, really heavy. Mm-hmm. And he was like, um, I don't want you to, to give birth yet. I was like, why? He was like, because I want to get married. I'm like, boy, bye. Right. Like, please, That's now you want to get married? You know what I'm saying? Please. Because we didn't really talk about It's so funny. He said he wants me to be his, you know, like that I was his wife. But we really, really spoke about marriage. Yeah. Within I that year. We'll, we'll just pop out of nowhere. We'll... Yeah, like he's very random. So I was like, yeah, whatever. I believe it when I see it. He was like, I'm serious. Let's go. I, like, he wanted to get married before our son came. And I yeah. was like. Because I didn't want to make that mistake again because I, I wasn't married to my to my son's mother officially. And then, you know what I mean? I just didn't want to see that cycle because it happened. I seen it so much. So I wanted to do, I, want, I wanted to do more. I wanted to be better. And I said, yo, I, I just, I got to marry this lady. I gotta lock it down. I gotta give her everything because she gave me everything. Like imagine watching her go through all of that and still being there. You know what I mean? To to him who is forgiven much loves much, right? So watching her, I'm like, dang, I can't give her nothing. You know, not money, not nothing. So I was like, yo, I'm gonna give her all I got and I'm gonna be the greatest I could ever be. You know, and and Malachi was the icing on the cake because I wanted to be all that for him too. Yeah, he you know love mean? he to this day like. Yeah. The twinkling, it, like it's crazy. Their relationship. I just, you know, I, I just learned. Even now, I learn to see myself in, in other people. Like, you know, see myself in other people and see where people are. You know, that's why. That's why I give my heart. I give everything in that way because you know, I I was everything. Like like Paul said, I was the chiefest of sinners. Nobody sinned more than me. Nobody was worse than me. That's how I know. You know, God's grace is sufficient. That's how I know that you know God can save anybody. You know, I, that's how I know that nobody's too far off that God can't reach you, you know. So Amen. that's why I, I preach the way I do. That's why I teach the way I do, you know, because I it believe definitely it comes and, it's, from a place. and it's real. And, it's real, and real, I believe real because of what, you know, and, and, and you know, um, before I even go further, like who he is today exceeds who God showed me he was when I first met him. Oh, cool. And I tell him that all the time, like, you know. When I, when I first met you, I fell in love with you. But I feel like the love that I was feeling was definitely God's love for him. Mm. You know, because That's God powerful. knew who, who he was. You know what I mean? So, so y'all got the advantage, um, men and women. Um, um, you guys have the advantage if you're giving your life to the Lord, if you're giving your life to God, if you, if you know yourself, if you know the truth of yourself, the truth of your heart, you search the reins of your heart, you know, you gave yourself to God. You know, um, you have the advantage because you get to see that early and you don't have to go through so much. You know, each of us serve as as some type of Christ in people's lives, you know, Um, Mm -hmm. and and that's what Christ did on the cross. Each of us serve as that. And our marriage serves as that. We had to go through the fire. We had we had to do that so that, you know, we can lessen (laughs) that pain for for you guys, you know, and Christ did that for us, you know, so. So, um, don't go through pain in vain, man. Use, use your gifts, use your, use, uh, um, the gift that, that, that's for you. The right. gift of and I, and I, Christ I dying say on the cross. The best way to and carry his true that love. is definitely, you know, not holding shame, you know, with the things that you, you went through. No one's not going to understand, you know, and I had to go through that too. You know what I mean? I had to really, you know, endure things you know uh because nobody's gonna understand the logic Mm because there's no logic behind it Mm -hmm. you know it's all god you know and god is above logic god is above understanding god is above all of that you know 
even so, though he he reveals those things to you as time goes on. As, as Just like what he said on. to his disciples, right. he said, you know, I have so much more to tell you, but right now you can't bear them. You know what I'm saying? So he, he won't put more on us than we can bear. You know, even And honestly, then. during, I couldn't even tell you, like, why. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I would just be, I would just say I believe. So many you know lives were changed. So many lives were saved through through us staying and being patient and holding on and our sacrifice. Like so many countless countless lives. Or or like I wouldn't even I don't even think I would have got saved ever. You know what I'm saying? Like I was all the way I was all the way in in the deep deep dark place. I just believe that he wasn't who the way he was acting then. I truly believe that that's not who he was. You know, I seen a different, you know, I seen him. So we married now. In a different. No, we got no, to follow. Right, marriage. but you keep cutting me off. My bad. My as bad. usual. My bad. So, I keep looking at the time. I shouldn't have looked at the time. So We stopping um, at an hour, though. That's three minutes. All right, let me just say But y'all can keep asking y'all questions, because we're going to jump back on here and answer them. So, um, <laughs> we're at the, um, I remember we was at St. Mary's. Okay. So, I used to live on the block of St. Mary's on Buffalo. Mm. And we got to that point and I was like, all right, so then let's go right now. And he was like, bet, let's go right now. Mm. And we, we know had how to smooth. Do it. No, we had smooth. He he asked me, he said, you know how to get married? I was like, well, I know City Hall. You know where City Hall is? I'm like, it's so funny. I travel, right? So of course the four train you know what I'm saying? City Hall. I know that that's City Hall, but I didn't know the building or how. So I was like, yeah, I know where City Hall is, but I didn't know where the building was, but I knew how to get to City Hall because mm-hmm. the four train says it all the time. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, yeah. So he was like, all right, so let's go. And then again, we had a witness because this is what I knew. And I told myself, we're going to need a witness, I guess. You know what I mean? As far as I know. Mm-hmm. So Smooth came with us. Yeah, because she was way older than me. I was a teenager, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, man, all right. We go, we go, and um, I remember um, filling out paper, paperwork. We was filling out paperwork. They called our number and everything and stuff, but the ceremony wasn't then. So We still had to say I do. We still had to No, things, but get, right? think about it. We, we got married. When you sign that paper, that's you're, us agreeing to get married. married. Uh-huh. So we were legally married, but I didn't know that. You know what I mean? I didn't know that. Yeah. There was like, I had to, um, 24 hours, y'all can come back, you know? And what, then. did you change your mind? Just give, yeah, give each other 24 hours, and then y'all can come back to do the, ce- like, to do the ceremony part, mm. right? So we was like, oh, okay, so we have to come back tomorrow. Mm. So we came back the next day. Somebody was supposed to, like, we were supposed to have a witness again. Because at this point, you're supposed to have a witness, not when we was writing. So we didn't need smooth, but again, we thought we did. Mm. So um, long story short, we get there. The person that was supposed to be there wasn't there. So we like, dang, how are we gonna do? We need a, we need a, um, we need a, a, a witness. Mm. So we go, we go in, and we see our name on the list. We were the last ones to get married. So we go in, and so we ask someone. We asked someone that was that had gotten like um, someone from the party that had gotten married right before us. Excuse me, do you mind if you can just stand and be the witness because our witness didn't come? Mm-hmm. And she was like, "Sure, sure, um, That's a I'll word. do it." That's a word. About strangers to the wedding, yeah. Mm-hmm. So we had a stranger as a witness. You mm-hmm. know, it was this lady, and um, I was pregnant. I remember I had a black dress too, and mind you, like mm-hmm. it was a black two dress, and it went down. Mm-hmm. I remember. And um, it was a lady judge, and she's... But he gave you beauty for ashes. Amen. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. (laughs) Joy for your morning. We get married. She take pictures. We had an email address. She sent it, but we don't have nothing. Like, we didn't get anything. No pictures, no family, no Yo, let me tell you something. After this happened, I had to take a step to the side. I said, what did I just do? Yeah, when we got married after that. I'm like, yo, what did I just do? We go to the elevator, and there's a window by the elevator. And he sat on the window. I'm like, what the heck? And he's like, hold on. Because I I was was speaking things. my, My life, like, this is not... What I saw, I saw darkness in my life. Like, I saw all darkness ahead of me. I, I didn't think, and, I, and there's a lot of us, I didn't think I was going to make it to 21. You know what I mean? She was, she was only, 
she was the only 21 that I knew that made it to 21, you know what I mean? I'm done. But anyway, like, so I'm like, nah, like, how could this be happening? So everything that God was causing me to say out of my mouth, you know, gave, gave life to me. And was restoring my life and renewing my life. And, um... Yeah, we we gonna stop at that. We married now, so we gonna do to be continued. Y'all can ask your questions and all of that, um, you know, for the respect of the hour, you know. Um, but we appreciate y'all jumping up here with us, rocking with us. Make sure y'all check out the Storm Family on YouTube. Check out um, the Storm Family Dance Challenge. And I w I want to see some of y'all do it. Send me the video. Can I some of y'all do it. I thought that too in the coffee shop. And the kids, throw what in a coffee shop? Throw what in a coffee <laughs> shop? Got storm on your head. <laughs> I'm done with you, Ryan. Why would you say that? <laughs> Me dead. Over you. She said how we got these strangers as witness and um oh in the coffee shop. Wow. So we got some. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah, we got a lot of things in common. But yeah, man. Um, check us out. Thank you for rocking I with never us. Knew that. Make sure you play this video back if you just got on. Play this video back. Um, tell us your thoughts right in the comments. We're going to respond to you guys. Um, we're going to try to get into the YouTube, but it might not because I haven't deleted all my memory from putting up these videos and stuff like that. So, um, He's been working, y'all. Yeah. So we do all this for y'all, man. You know, we can be totally secluded and, and stuff like that and live our life and, and you know. Oh, yeah, I got married in the coffee shop? That's hot. Wow, that's blessed. <laughs> That's hot. So we're going to continue this from the marriage. That's what's up. We're going to continue this from the marriage. Uh, we love you guys. You guys be blessed. And I pray that the Lord continue to keep you, bless you, and strengthen you in Yeshua's name. That he bless every marriage, everyone who's looking to be married. That he'll bring the people that he has designed and destined to, toward one another. And, and that he will turn your sight toward him. Because God's, God is a jealous God. He's not jealous of you, but he's jealous for you. Meaning, like, it's, it's if, if you gave, it's just like a spouse, right? If, if, if I gave her all my love and she gave it to somebody else, I'm going to feel, you're going to feel that jealousy. So that term is for uh, a husband and wife. All throughout the Bible, he, he, he gives us example of husband and wife, how we are the church. The church is the uh, body of Christ, you know. We, the church, is his bride. He's coming back for his bride. And you give us that example so we can understand. God is not jealous. He doesn't have these feelings and emotions and things like that. These are just um, ways to understand him, you know, ways to, to relate because he is so wise. He is so beyond our understanding, you know. Just as heaven is above the earth, his ways are above our ways, you know. So I, I, just, I just pray the Lord's blessings and favor over all of you guys who sat here with us and, and healing upon your minds, healing upon your heart from all the brokenheartedness that you went through. Uh, I pray that the Lord heals you and that you, you open up your heart and mind to what he has in store for you. And I pray his blessings and prosperity over you all. I love you guys. You guys be blessed and encouraged. And shalom. Shalom.